Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I have a huge mail haul. <laughs> it's mail from last week and this week that has just piled up and I haven't had a chance to sit down and record it. But uh, it's early morning. I just took Jesse to school, so I'm going to take this opportunity to sit down and finally <laughs> share it all. <laughs> and it's quite a bit of it. It's going to take a, a little while. But I'm going to start with some fabric that I got. Um, and I got letters everywhere. <laughs> so it might take me a minute to find people who sent what. But this is from, I think it's Janelle, and she asked me not to read it, but I never read my notes on uh, camera because they're private. But she sent this card, very pretty, and a big old note in there. And she also sent some fabric, but I've already got some of it over here getting ready to be cut, and some of it over there. And there's a big pile over there. <laughs> I just, it's kind of spread out, but I do appreciate it. Thank you so much, Janelle for the note and for the card and for the fabric. So it was very sweet. I love this card, it's so pretty. Like that would be pretty to be framed. I don't know if you could tell it, but it's got like texture on it. <laughs> it's very pretty. All right, and then yesterday I got another package from my mystery fabric sender <laughs> who never leaves a card, but they always send me fabric. So uh, a lot of these will be popping up soon too in the um, Etsy shop. I'll just go through it real quick. This is a couple yards of like a firework print. Very pretty. <clears throat> I trolls print. <laughs> Super cute. Christmas dogs. I think I had this fabric a last year or year before that. Can't remember. And then some orange. I love getting solid colors too because it's good for liners. And Halloween's coming up. <laughs> and this really cool print. I have no idea what I'm going to call this when I make it into bags. But it looks cool. It's really pretty. And then sugar skulls, always popular. And they're rainbow, <laughs> which makes it better. And this really, I really like this print because it reminds me of my dad. So it's not right. It's like a deer scene. Um, my dad was a big time hunter and all that stuff. Big time like redneck. <laughs> and uh, he died in 2013. He had esophageal cancer. I always like seeing stuff like that. It reminds me of my dad. I might make something for myself out of that because of that. Okay, let's see here. I think that's all the fabric she sent, or they sent. I'm not sure who they are, but they're right there. Got, got a bunch piled up over here to get working on. I need to get working on it. It's been a while. All right, so next I did a yarn swap with Doris and her, her channel name or whatever. Her, what's that called? Her handle <laughs> is uh, Rose Cottage Crochet. I already forgot now. It's right here. I cut off her address so I can save it. Ro Rose Cottage Studio. That's what it is. There's that mystery person's address because I want to send them a card. <laughs> try not to lose those addresses. <laughs> I try to save everybody's addresses that um, send me stuff so that I can send them either thank yous or if we can do garment swaps in the future. I have like a file on my computer with everybody pretty much who does videos. Addresses saved on it. Anyways. Oh boy. Okay, I sent her some yarn that I'm allergic to. She emailed me uh, asking if I want to do a swap. And I was like, yes, because <laughs> it's fun to do swaps. Um, and so she uh, sent me some like acrylic yarns that I can use and trade for alpaca yarns that I can't use. And she sent a lot. I have a whole clothes basket down here full of stuff. So we'll go through it. It's going to take a minute though. So just be prepared. Some of them are in bags too, so I might be crinkly. All right, so she sent two four packs. This one's like spun in a cake <clears throat> of ice yarn. I know they usually don't have a lot of information on their labels, but it's it looks like a DK weight maybe of uh, white, so that's good. Baby stuff, <laughs> very crinkly. Here it goes. A little bag of stuffing, I think. I think that's what that is. I squished around on it. I think it's just stuffing. <laughs> a little bag of stuffing. And then there was this one ball of. Dreamores, Dreamores Studios Anti Pill and DK. It's white also as well. It's called Frost, <laughs> and it's 100% acrylic and 273 yards. Some more baby yarn. And then she also sent a big organza bag full of baby yarn. <laughs> Let me get one out here. So there are. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And it's called Barocco. I've heard other people say that. <laughs> Comfort, knitting worsted weight. It looks a little thinner than worsted weight to me, though. 
it is 50% uh, super fine nylon and super fine acrylic. Super fine. <laughs> uh, let's see here. The color is just a number. Boo. Yeah, I said this is number four, 210 yards, but it's like pastel baby colors. It looks thinner than number four to me. I'd probably treat it as a decay weight whenever I get around to using it. It's be a pretty uh, blanket. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of that in there. And a cute organza bag. I always save these when people send them to me and then I use them to send other people things. <laughs> All right, and then there's this big old cake. It's called Yarn Art Flowers Merino. Made in Turkey. Does it have a color? Color is a number. I hate when that happens. Okay, so number three. I don't know. Okay, 25% rule and 75% acrylic. So it's kind of like a Karen cake. But it's black and gray and white, which I love those colors. And it's got one of those easy pull things. <laughs> That's cool. I've never had one of these before. I don't even know what company it's by. But it's very pretty. And then there's a Christmas color one. <laughs> this one is called Cotton Kings, A World of Majestic Yarn Twirl Nation. Twirls Nation. Whoa. It's 100% cotton. It says it's 200 grams, 800, 874 yards. It's a number two fine. And it also has one of those easy starts where you gotta take the label off. And it's like, it looks like it's like um, three or four embroidery flosses thick <laughs> like loose it's not plied is what I'm trying to say <laughs> and uh yeah so it's Christmas colors my clothes hangers are moving I don't think it says color oh it's color number five <laughs> but still I'll figure out something to make with it I don't know when but eventually <laughs> all right let's see here this is notiony things I'll show them last All right, and then there's a bag of three Red Heart Dreamy Stripes. I've never had this before. It's called Sweet Dreams. It says it's number five, so it's bulky. 100% acrylic and 355 yards each, so that's, that's a lot. <laughs> really pretty pink and like a gray color. It kind of looks brown, too. It's like a browning gray, dusty gray, <laughs> and white. Very pretty. That would be a cute baby thing. And see, uh, she's going to be due in late January or early February. So it's going to be cold. That's usually our coldest point here in Middle Tennessee. It's when we get all our snow and stuff. Mostly ice. <laughs> so it would be nice to have a bunch of little blankets. Alright. And then there's also this three pack of Hershner's. I don't think I've ever had Hershner's yarn. Worst to date baby yarn. Full eight ounce ball. <laughs> And they're all number four. They probably have different colors. Yeah, one's Fairy Princess, one's Ballerina, and one is Paisies. It's like a girl themed pack. So this one's called Fairy Princess, this one's Ballerina, and this one's Paisies. I'm gonna keep them in the bag so that they stay clean. Oh look, they got easy starts too. Cool. <laughs> I've never ordered from Hershner's, I don't think. I don't think so. What is that? Did I say? Oh, yeah, it's a number four. Or well, another room. I told you she sent a whole lot. <laughs> All right. And then there's these ones that are like stereotypic boy colors, but you know, I'm not that kind of person who says blue is boy, pink is a girl. Because I happen to love blue and green myself. All right. This is the same yarn. Uh, Hershner's Worst State Baby Yarn. It's just like blues. <laughs> so this one's called Raindrops. Uh, this one down here is called Fluffy Clouds, and this one's called Blue Sky. Very pretty. These would be good together, like these three together and these three together, mixed up to make little blankets. I'm sure that's what the purpose is. <laughs> All right, last two. <laughs> the last two are uh, the same yarn. I've actually had some of this before. I made hats out of it. This is Madala Thick and Quick. It's a number six, uh, super bulky. 87 yards each, and there's six of them. 100% uh, acrylic. What's the colorway? Ah, I'm dropping them. Uh, pinwheel. I've had some of these before. So there's six of those. So I'm going to make something cute. Big old thick, squishy blanket thing <laughs> out of that. It's really pretty. 
Yeah, I bought some of this on clearance myself a, a couple years ago. I made some hats with it. <laughs> all right, so that's everything I got from Doris. That's a lot. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going to put it all, so I'm leaving it in their bag so they say clean until I figure out where I'm going to put them. Because I've already got too much yarn. I've been trying really hard to work through my yarn stash and not buy so much. I guess all this is going to live in my um, laundry basket until I find somewhere to put it. Okay. Now she also sent some, no oop, almost yeeted that, some notion-y type things. So she sent this little mesh bag. I've seen people use these. Oh, this is from Kristen Omerdahl. Cool. <laughs> Must have came in one of her little kits with yarn or something in it. Um, I've seen people use similar ones of these to put board games in on like videos <laughs> and you can get them off of Amazon not this one this is Christian Amadol's but um, uh, when I seen that, that's what I thought of it was those mesh bags for board games I want to get some of those because we have a whole rack of board games there and even more in Jesse's closet and then you can condense them down to like a file system I want to do that but that's a side track <laughs> anyways this would be a nice little uh, project bag for on the go Ooh, it's weird looking. <laughs> and then she said this cool Bella Coco crochet Palmer clay hook and some two stitch markers. I love the colors of it too. It's like purple, glittery, and like ombre. It's a number five, so it's an H hook, which I use a lot. So I'm definitely gonna be popping that open <laughs> and using that. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there you go. You can see how pretty it is. I'll open it eventually. I just don't want to open it right now. All right, and then she also lastly sent this Notions pouch. Life is better with yarn. And it's full of stuff. And also, I had this tape measure in it. I had to take it out yesterday because I couldn't find mine. But it has a hot pink tape measure in it, which Jesse tried to steal from me. And he's already gotten like three of those from me. <laughs> All right. So it also has a super cute pin that has like a cat on it. That is so cute. Just an ink pen. I think it's an ink pen. Yeah. <laughs> For a second, there, I thought it was a pencil. It's a cute cat pen. Uh test tube of needles <laughs> I've gotten three of these gifted to me but with different types of needles in it so it's cool and I love these little tubes I like to throw them down in my hook cases so now I have three of them to put in three different hook cases so I always have needles on hand to weave them in and it had this cute little box with some of those folding scissors in there pink also <laughs> and then these two little bags have safety eyes in them just like a set of safety eyes so I'll gotta put that in my uh safety eye thing and then an adorable pink notebook <laughs> which is cute for using with my pink cat pen to take notes <laughs> and there's also a luggage uh, tag that is a flamingo which is actually good I needed another one of these because we just bought a new bag recently I need a us bag because um, we've learned <laughs> from our recent trips we haven't had a trip in a while I can't remember the last one we took but uh, when we all three go, we need more than one bag. We used to be able to just cram all three of our stuff into one bag, but now it's time to get two bags. So we got another bag and I needed another thing. We never travel by plane anywhere because we're not fancy, <laughs> but uh, it's still good to have these on there in case, you know, they get misplaced um, at a hotel or something. It's always good to have your information. This right here says that it's, I just now reading it, it says this belongs to a crocheter. <laughs> you put your name, your address in front of her. That's cool. Too bad crochet cruises aren't a thing anymore. I wanted to do that so bad, and I would totally have taken this with me. <laughs> but yeah, so that's everything that was in this last little notions pouch. So all that stuff was for my swap with Doris at Rose Cottage Studios. Put all that back in there until I have time to organize it. All that pink stuff will definitely be going into the hook case that I use most of the time. I might actually have to use this as that case because the one that I use now is really small. <laughs> but I want all that pink stuff to be in there because I love pink. And I'm gonna put this purple hook in there too. <laughs> I have my hook separated by uh, brand. So I have like a hook bag with my Clover Moores in it, one with my Susan Bates uh, soft grips, one with my, all my like fancy polymer clay type ones. And then I have just my, all my special ones are in my little tackle box thing that my mom gave me. They're like really old boy hooks. <laughs> I keep them, I don't ever use them. I just keep them because they're sentimental. So, ah, I'm almost there. <laughs> so this will be going into the polymer clay one. And then I gotta redo my, my main hook case that I always use, which has my um, Susan Bates soft grips. This is my favorite hooks. And I do love Clover Moores also. Um, it really depends on what yarn I'm using. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna pile that pink stuff all in there so that I can use all my pink stuff. All right, so that's everything 
fabric wise and yarn wise so next is baby gift wise <laughs> so if you're not interested in that you can go ahead and hop off I got quite a few uh, gifts from my registry uh, around last week it was around my nephew's birthday party because that day when I went to his birthday party we picked it up because I have it sent to my sister's house because our neighborhood is shady <laughs> anyways long story short I got it all here in a box and I'm gonna pull it out um, and then I will say Carol half of your package came one day the gift for Jesse which he loves it's I can't even show it it's like a rocket launcher it's like foam rockets that you put on this thing and then you stomp on it and it shoots up in the air uh, it's somewhere probably in his bedroom or somewhere because <laughs> he's been playing the heck with it and the other one the baby gift uh, didn't come until a few days later and it's still at my sister's I haven't been able to go back and pick it up but I did get it I just wanted to let you know Carol that I did get both of your gifts they just came on different days anyways let's go okay right, this one's not from a register this is just an extra baby gift that I got a couple days ago and it's from D Scott and here's the card that they sent it's a really pretty card open it <laughs> and this is a package and what it is is it's full of dump it all out here little baby headband bows so it goes around the baby's head uh, that's not a good one to show because it's black right here <laughs> there you go it looks like it's uh illuminated maybe or knit knitted it looks like luminate to me but i don't know <laughs> but there's uh this one christmas one a black one it's pretty blue and like uh gray and like aqua blue <laughs> I'm bad at words this is a dark purple and this is a pretty I like this one a lot black and white and gray one it's a white one and then there's also a light pink one and a bright pink one <laughs> so those are gonna be so cute on her little head and this is nice and stretchy it's like a it reminds me of those little loom thingies those rubber band looms I can't remember what that's called but you know like everybody did it when they were kids and made pot holders it reminds me of those or pantyhose <laughs> I don't know what they are but that's what they remind me of but all these beautiful little bows so thank you so much for those we loved them me and Devin both loved them we opened them together stick them in there I'm trying to keep everything put in their bags so I could keep it in a box so it all stays clean until the baby's here and then I will wash all the clothes and hang everything up the way it's supposed to be but until then it just needs to stay in bags so that they stay safe <laughs> if that makes sense all right now this next stuff is all the amazon registry stuff some of it is in bags so it might be crinkly i think i opened most of it but there's still a couple in bags this one's very crinkly <laughs> okay so this is these gifts are from tracy and this is tracy from i love loopy crochet and treasures i guess what it is i love her i absolutely love watching her so she sent a baby bath toy, an octopus with these little things that you put on the tentacles. Are they called tentacles on octopuses? I don't know. But it's just cute. I don't know it'll be a while before she plays with this, but you know, kids will play. I mean, it won't be too long, probably a few months, not a few months old, but you know, old enough to sit up and move their hands around. <laughs> so that'll be useful when the time comes. She also sent these really cute swaddle wraps with matching like turban top hats and i'm going to open it but it's really crinkly so it's a crinkly plastic i will just get one out there are three in there there's a black floral one and a pretty blue floral one and then i just grabbed the pink one because it was on top but they're just little swaddle blankets like the size of a receiving blanket really nice like jersey material feels really nice it's real flowy. It's going to look really pretty for pictures. And then they have matching little hats with bows on them. Oh, so cute. I might take one of these to the hospital to take a picture. Because at our hospital where we deliver Jesse and we'll be delivering this baby, uh, the day after you have your baby, a professional photographer comes around and will do some photos of your baby. And um, it would be cute wrapped up in one of these. <laughs> I'm just like, I put this back in the bag. It's very crinkly. Okay, so those are from Tracy. Ooh, it's moving. <laughs> All right. These ones are from, I think it's Yasina. I hope I said that right. And you just emailed me. I'm going to email you back after this video <laughs> to let you know until you see this. But she wrote a note. And again, I'm not going to share my notes because they're personal to me. But the gift note, I'm keeping. And she sent some baby books. She did say she was wanting to share her love 
for books with the, for the baby. So it's got four in there, I believe. And it's just little baby squishy books. I'm, again, I'm gonna leave them in the package until she's here and old enough to play with them so that they don't get all dirty and stuff. And it's got little Velcro things and stuff, you know, that little babies can fiddle with. Really cute. I was super excited to get this because Jesse has just gotten super into books. He's learned to read, which is crazy because I didn't think he's gonna do that in kindergarten. And uh, he's super into books right now. So that's cool that we can have her some books here. And then she also bought some, um, what are these called? Like sleeper things. <laughs> so there's this cute white one with flowers. It's like a sleeper sack, but it's open on the bottom for easy access. <laughs> super cute. And it's got the little um, fold over bits to cover up their little hands. So that's so, whoop, I'm dropping it. That's so cute. I'll refold that later. And then there's this blue one that's got little swans on it. <laughs> Same thing. And then this pink one with little like zoo animals on it. It's got elephants and giraffes and flowers, I think, and hearts. It is pink. It's just my lighting's pretty not good. <laughs> so she sent those. So thank you so much for that. I'm super excited about these little things. I love these little sleep sacks. They're so handy to have. And um I'll fold them up nice later in the books. I kind of want to open them and look at them, but I don't want to get them all dirty. But they're cute. I'll look at them eventually. So I'll save that gift note. All right. Next. Oh, goodness. It's getting hard for me to bend over. <laughs> I don't do bump updates. Someone mentioned that because Hannah did it. But Hannah was skinny when she got pregnant. I was not skinny when I got pregnant, so... I have a bump, but it's kind of hard to distinguish it from just my fat. <laughs> I know the difference, and my husband does because he sees me every day. But people, if I just get up and show you, it just look like I'm fat <laughs> or bloated. <laughs> That's why I don't do bump updates. But, okay, this one, these ones are from Amy. There's her note. So, another one is in real squinky paper. <laughs> so, she also sent some baby get, um, bath toys, which is awesome. Because I know Jesse loved these little things when he was little. And this is... Uh, these farm animals? I think they're farm animals. <laughs> There's a chicken and a sheep and a cow, a duck way up here, a pig, a frog, a horse, and an owl, which is kind of random, <laughs> but an owl. They're so cute. And uh, they don't appear to have, yeah, they got squirty mouths. I will probably hot glue those shut though, for sake of not having mold, and then it can just be toys to play with. But, um, or not mold, but mildew, you know? A lot of Jesse's toys got real mildew and I ended up having to pitch them. So I'll probably, I know I saw a hack <laughs> where you can just like put a little bit of hot glue there to like seal it and then they can still play with them without them filling up with water and it's setting and getting mildewy. But anyways, here they are. Super cute. And then she sent some cute outfits. Oh, these are also cute. I'll show you the pants first because there's only two pairs of pants. Oh my gosh. There's little pink ones with ruffles on the butt. Oh, they're pink. You just... I'm using natural lighting, so it's not the greatest. They are a really pretty pink color. And then little blue polka dot ones. <laughs> They're so cute and so little. And then these are all the onesies that go with them that kind of match. So there's one that's blue polka dotted that says little sister. That'd be so cute. I think these are three to six. Because when I was making my registry, I put some zero to three and some three to six sizes. Because I know with Jesse, we got so much clothes given to us that half of them he never even got to wear before he grew out of them. Um, so I was trying not to get all the same sizes. But super cute. And this is a really cute white one with little pink hearts on it. Little bow. <laughs> and then a pink one with a turtle. Oh, this has got long sleeves. Which is good because she's going to be little in cold weather. And then this one's a long sleeve one also that's white with flowers. Super cute. And then she also sent a big bag of little bags of bows, headbands, but they're all very crinkly. But it is a big bag full of little bags. I'll open and get one out to show you if I can. They're all in their own little bags. If I can get it open, super. Okay, so they're just cute little headbands with bows. And they're they're kind of all like jewel tone colors. And there's some, there's a light pink one and a gray one and a white one right here. Or like a cream color. 
so these will be good to switch out for pretty much any outfit <laughs> and it's so cute and they're nice and soft and good and stretchy so it should fit on her head whether it's little or ginormous <laughs> so i'm gonna put this back in there so that's all from amy thank you amy why are they all so crinkly all right last one okay these last ones are from sean Sean also contributed to the diaper fund, which is where people can just put money in there to buy diapers with. And then there was also another person who contributed to that also, and her name was Elizabeth. So thank you both for that. <laughs> That'll be a lot of help. Cause like the main thing you have to purchase in the first year is diapers and formula. And I'm doing formula. So um, every little bit helps. But anyways, these are the actual like physical gifts that she sent. And again, it's, it's some of the little onesies with pants, but it's a different set. So it's a cute little white, like mint color with the ruffle butt. These are so small. They're zero to three. Oh, I can't believe there's going to be a little tiny baby. And then this is pink and white stripes. And then the little matching onesies for it has, this one has elephants on it. And it says, loved by mommy. It's a pretty mint color. And then a gray polka dot one. And then this one Devin's going to love. He hasn't seen these yet. But it's pink striped and it says Daddy's Girl on it. So I know he's going to love that. <laughs> he He's seen these, but he hasn't, like, looked at them, you know. <laughs> and then this cute one with the animals on it. I like these sets because they come with two long-sleeved ones and two short-sleeved ones. And matching pants. That's so cute. Cute little baby clothes. And then she also sent this headband mitten set. And it's got three headbands and three sets of mittens. So it's got cute little headbands with bows and the little matching mittens so they don't, she don't scratch her little face. Jesse was so bad at doing that. And he wouldn't keep the little mittens on. But all right, that's all the baby gifts. I still got that one laying here that I got the other day. So I'm going to put that in that box now. And like I said, Carol, yours did come. Jesse's just already got his somewhere. <laughs> He's been playing the heck with it. And um, the little outfit that you sent, which I can't wait to see in person, <laughs> is... Um, at my sister's house. I have to pick it up. Probably this weekend I'll go pick it up. It's just I haven't had a chance to run to her house. She lives like 30 minutes away from me. So, but And, and then also said uh, Elizabeth did contribute to the diaper fund. So thank you so much for that. Thank you all so much for sending me baby gifts. It's definitely unnecessary. But it's definitely appreciated. <laughs> because I'm probably not going to have a baby shower this time around. Because our life's just so different. And COVID. And um It'd probably just be like the same family that it always ever is hanging out together. So there's really no point in it um, this time. So this is kind of like a baby shower. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. And thank you, uh, Doris, for the yarn swap. That was crazy good. <laughs> and thank you for the fabric. Everybody who sends fabric, just thank you for everything. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. And this is a really long video and I got to edit out a few coughs because I'm kind of gross this morning. But anyways, I'm going to try to get this edited and up today. <laughs> but it's really long. It's almost 30 minutes long. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. I'm trying to, I think that's everything that I got. I got to email a couple people back. And yeah, okay. I'm going to get off here before I forget and make this like an hour long. <laughs> but thank you all so much for uh, caring about me and my family so much. It means a lot to me and Devin. And it would to Jesse if he understood. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate you all. Appreciate you all so much. You just don't even know. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye guys.